Hello chums and a very good afternoon. Welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thanks for joining us. Middle of the week. Can you believe it? It's Wednesday already, 20th of March. Officially spring has sprung. You wouldn't know it here in the northeast. The weather <laughs> is miz. Yesterday, th yesterday that it should have been spring because it was a spring-like day. Today, I feel like we've gone back to the depths of winter. But hey ho, um, <laughs> it is um, going to be an amazing day today. We're very excited. It's officially National Happiness Day, so we're happy. We're ready to go. Uh, we'll be chatting about what makes you happy over the course of the show. I know two things which are going to be making you happy today. One, we continue with National Craft Month that's something worth being happy about isn't it because we're bringing you brand new launches and we're bringing you discounted items and codes as well ncm mixed media is your code this week it's a different code each and every week during national craft month this week we're concentrating on mixed media 30 percent off selected mixed media items with that code so just check out the section on the website uh, spend away and save away and also uh, we're very excited for the fact that we have got a brand new launch today for you to and what I think uh, you're going to be very excited about. What I will say from the top is, whilst we do have um, quite a lot of the collection on its own and individuals of this um, set, we do not have a big showstopper. And I'll take you all around that in just a few moments time. Um, but we've got around about 100, something like that. Not many at all. So if you like the look of the showstopper, uh, which comes with an amazing goodie bag, uh, then you'll need to get in and snap that up quickly. But today's launch are the uh, seasonal creator card dies. Something a little bit different, actually, because they are kind of all seasons and maybe not creator card dies as you know them, but they are super versatile. They are certainly for all seasons. And a lady here who is going to bring you all of the inspiration and who is well always happy but even more happy today on national happiness day it is the barnsley bombshell she's super happy because it's her friday it's, <laughs> it's the one and only debbie robinson how are you oh, i'm really really excited you know me i love a launch i love a launch that i i personally love this collection i just think it says exactly what you want it to say um those sentiments they're big they've mm. got a lovely font to them as well a little bit of a mix mash of fonts which i just think is lovely but they say exactly what they want to say on the tin and that's why i'm absolutely loving these and buzzing i can't wait to get started with them i'm going to show you a few samples so you can get to Ooh. see yeah. From our fabulous design team, notice I've been doing a theme earlier this week. I think the design team will be happy with me. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I'm one of those that always forgets to show you. But look, take a look at these. This is what we're talking about. Now, these dyes are those sentiments. And the seasonal sentiments, where the seasonal comes from, it means any time of the year, yeah. not just... I think people are thinking just the seasons, but they're not. Mm. They're going to cover all the different occasions. So the with lo I do love a new with love. Oh, I think yes. I'm in love with this new with love. You need a new with love. And the reason I'm showing you all of those is to show you the wow. different styles and how you can use these and mm. create with them. They've all got embellishment dies in there as well. They've also got a stamp, um, which we're going to be using throughout. So there's the there's the dies, there's the stamp, but then there's all these different ways that you can be playing with them so that many thanks again uh, sorry many congrats i absolutely love and i'll let you show that one that you've got in a second uh, ben on yours because it's absolutely amazing um, and look that's from that same many congrats but look at the different ways that you can use that i think you are going to absolutely love love these whether you are just using it with the special the friend and the your loved and the little sentiments that go with it, the little embellishments, you're going to absolutely love these. Look at the different ways that you can use them. I'm loving all of the work that the design team have done with these because each and every one, very individual. And whether you're going into gift bags or boxes, that is just... Oh, I love that one. I think that is a Marie. I was going to say, I thought that were a Marie. Mm. Um, absolutely beautiful. They're going to work with so many of your collections as well. However, you've heard me saying quite a lot recently, like a one-stop one shop yeah. in terms of what you need to get creative with. So this is going to cater for all you new crafters, anybody who's been crafting for a long time, because everything's in that one kit. Whether you're going for one, whether you're going for a whole lot of them, everything you need is in there, from the words to the sentiments to the stamps to the embellishments. It's all in that one set, and that's why you need to get hold of them today. 
I'm going to get myself all ready for the first demo because I've got a few planned. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited and super happy that it's National Happiness, happiness Day. Happiness, happiness. The greatest gift the the song, that happiness. I possess. <laughs> I thank the Lord that I've been blessed with more of my share of happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Who sang that? Was it Ken Dodd? Ken Dodd. I was trying to think this morning because I've been singing it all morning uh, while Liam's been getting ready with other things. We, we might have to share a picture of that set in a bit. Uh, but yeah, me and Liam have been singing away. So yeah, I did say to him, the uh, happiness mm. is definitely spreading throughout uh, the team today. So let's, let's see what you're doing on this National Happiness Day. Yeah, send in uh, reasons to be cheerful today on the comments. Because uh, remember, the more you comment, it's the launch this uh, show, of course. The more you comment, the more chances you've got of winning a mystery bag. What's in the bag? I don't know. It's a mystery. Um, but someone's going to win it simply for commenting along. I'll read a few more of your um, comments in just a little while. I'll say a few of those, but let's take you through everything that you're going to be getting if you go for the showstopper. So you will, of course, get all of the brand new stamps and dice. And it's this is such a great week. I feel like we've planned this week perfectly if you are a beginner because you think back to the start of the week when you had those um, beautiful embossing folders so you kind of you know if you like got the sort of um, starting point for a project there we've then given you your butterfly kaleidoscope yesterday so you've got your embellishment and then today we've given you your sentiments to go with it as well so if you are new and you've picked up the three launches this week boy oh boy three amazing launches that will work perfectly together that will get you making the most sensational cards straight off the bat. If you just love um, making your own uh, cards, you know, if you love creator cards, then you're going to be picking this uh, set up anyway. And like you said, it's a little bit different. Seasonal, yes, because it is going to go cross seasons. Um, but what the thing is about this, of course, is yes, you're going to be creating the most beautiful cards, but you've got more opportunities here because you've got all of the dice separate. Uh, as opposed to like one single creator card die. And as Debbie says, you're going across seasons here with things like With Love, beautiful dies in there um, to create your kind of wreaths. You've got so many um, foliage dies in there and you've got your beautiful florals in there and you've also got Now and Always. So With Love, Now and Always, that's your little stamp. You get one of those in each of the sets. Happy birthday, always very useful. Of course, you're gonna be cutting into your card stock, keep the waste elements as well so you can piece that back in or use it elsewhere. Happy birthday, again, with lots of little uh, flowers and petals and leaves and then your stamp says hope it's the best yet then you are going to be getting your special friend again loads of stamps and dies uh, the dies again you can use across the different sentiments that you've got within the sets special friend uh, you're loved oh another little butterfly there as well lots of butterflies this week many congrats love this you've got stars in here love the bunting and, and your stamp in there is you did it and then you've got thank you again always very handy to have more um floral dyes in there more little um sprigs if you like to uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart so those are all the brand new seasonal creator card dies and stamps then within the showstopper you get all of the added goodies as well so th this is your goodie bag right we split it up to, to kind of show you it all out but basically it's a goodie bag uh, that would cost you um 61 pounds or 92 dollars if you were to pay the full price for it however within the showstopper it is only 30 pounds or just over 40 dollars what you are going to get as you can see down the front is your fabulous fuchsia linen cardstock all right that's going to come within the showstopper uh, 25 sheets of that beautiful linen cardstock from the fabulous fuchsia collection we're giving you a beautiful pot of sequins you're also going to get your um glitter glue and you're going to get your two duet ink pads. You've got Awakening Forest and your Lemon Meringue. On top of that, you're going to get heat resistant acetate, 12 sheets and a huge pack of your um, foam pads. And to add to all of that, you're also going to get all of this beautiful cardstock. That is your precious metals. In there, you're gonna get glitter cardstock, you're gonna get your mirror cardstock, matte mirror cardstock, and you're gonna get sheets of your adhesive glitter cardstock too. The only place that you can get that currently. Now, as I've said, that would cost you an extra 60 pounds or $90. Within the showstopper, you're paying just an extra 30 pounds or $42, hence the price, which is incredible. 60 pounds <laughs> or $80. We have less than 100 showstoppers though, so you will have to be quick if you wanna get the most bang for your buck. If you just want the collection on its own, you can. If you just want individuals, you can. If you just like the look of the goodie bag, you can. So all of the options are there for you. So shop away.
A um, few quick hellos and we'll get into this. Radical Rachel is with us on the socials. Already in is Vanessa Fuentes, who says, I'm excited for another launch. Sarah Brown says, hello, crafty friends. Hope everyone's doing well. It is now midnight here in Melbourne, Australia. Sending love and hugs to all. Back at you. Marcella Jimenez is in. Uh, Zoe Carver joins us saying afternoon all. Shh, the sun is out in West Sussex. Trying not to blink in case I miss it. It's not out here. It is not <laughs> out here. I'll tell you that much for nothing. Um, Robin McMorris says, good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're all okay. I'm currently putting nine Easter-themed picnic boss, uh, boxes together, as well as decorating them to give out to the lovely ladies at our local craft class. Another day, another launch. Cannot wait to see what you have in store for us. Uh, Christy Mahoney is in, saying hello, Ben and Debbie. Both gorgeous as ever. Curtsy there. Uh, Polly is in from Blountstown, Florida. Uh, Jeanette Shirley says, I've been looking for some big, bold sentiments. If you want big and bold, you got it. Um, Christy Mahoney says, reasons to be happy, Crafters TV and the whole team. Um, I liked Love Friend and Best Birthday. They're in my basket, says Emma Thrower. And Sarah Brown says, my happiness is you guys at Crafters TV. Well, thank you, everybody. Should we get into this? Grab this like it's going out of style. Let's have a look at this um, amazing new launch with Debbie. Which of the sets are you going to start with? I'm going to start with Special Friend. Um, I'm going to try and work through them all if I can, uh, if time permits. Um, but yeah, I love, I love the whole, whole set of these. This is what I love, that it cuts into cardstock, but yeah. also cuts out because it cuts out the words. So yeah. this makes it a really nice special one in terms of um, how you're going to be able to use it in so many different ways. And then you've got the extra uh, piece that then creates the friend part that goes with your special uh, that cuts out separately, which means then you can place it anywhere. I've got four, uh, well, say four, possibly five, um, different <laughs> ways that you can use these um, today. So that's what we're going to start with. Um, and I love the fact that they've got embellishments on there as well. And then also, if you turn it over, you'll see you've got your stamp. Mm -hmm. So you can say to your special friend, you're loved. Oh. I, I love that. Or you could mm. just keep it special friend. You've got the choices. Now, I've taken a piece of white multi-purpose cardstock that is measures at four by five um, inches. And we're going to have a little play with this now. This is the beauty of these, um, these particular dies. Lots of creativity. You know me now, Ben. You know what I'm like, and you'll know what I'm going to say. It isn't a one-trick pony. We don't like one-trick ponies. I don't like a one-trick pony. No, you don't, I like, yeah. I like something that actually can give me, as a creator, as a, as a creator, hark at me. Creator? Um, as a, as a crea creator crafter. A creator crafter. A creative crafter. Um, it gives me all that versatility in being able to use it in so many different ways. Now, I'm going to run that through my die-cutting machine. Now, you're probably thinking, you didn't put your magnetic shim in there, Debbie. Well, to be fair... I can actually get a double cut just by putting it in and reversing it back through. Yeah. Again, I always think about the longevity of plates, so that's how I look at it when I'm doing this. And that should have cut through there fine. Of course, if it hasn't, do not worry, because uh, you can just add it in if you need to. That's it. When you lift that up, all we're going to do is we're going to release those um, words. Shall we say the words? Words? Uh, the words. But the mm. letters... The letters then you can use. If I grab a piece of black cardstock, just bear with me, Ben, so I can pop that onto there to show you. You've actually got a two for the price of one with this because this will spell out the word special for you. Oh, yeah. And then you could use your friend in a different colour and add that on, which, again, I absolutely love. So let me start this end. Let's come in. Oh, no. I oh. don't think it cut through, Ben. Oh, did it not? After all that, it didn't cut through. Oh, do you know? I wonder if I can... Well, we'll be able to because... Hey, You're going to put it back through again, show, piece yeah. it back together. I can go it back through again because guess what? I can slit it, I can s s snip it, snip it, snip it back into place. So ah. let me just get that into place. There. Perfect. So perfect. So let's just pop that no that worries. way around. And I did it on a, yeah, right there, Jamie. I did it on a purpose to show you that you can. Isn't it funny though? Because it's the same machine that I've used when I've been prepping here. Maybe it's just and, warming uh, up. It's been warm because I've been here since half past nine prepping away. Well, maybe it's got um, first show of the day nerves. Oh, that's it. That'll be it. Yeah, it's what got it is. those nerves. Yeah. But it's a good way to show you how you can uh, redo things and sometimes not have to worry about it because it got that first one out fine. It was just that last one. I mm. noticed. Uh, I noticed it was a bit of a struggle there. Oh, pfft. not, not anymore. Not this time. Not anymore. Oh, now what am I spelling? Hang on a minute. Um. Just checking. 
But you can use... Oh, we're going to go see... S... S it's like countdown. down this. <laughs> 30 seconds starts <laughs> now. Look how gorgeous that is when it cuts into that cardstock. And then I could stop there and add more, but mm. I like I like a little bit of a special effect. So yeah. I'm going to come back in, make sure I've got it the right way around because I know what I'm like. There we go. So I'm going to add that into the bottom part. And mm. I am going to pop it in three times into my cardstock. Okay. I'll just do it cut it again. But that's the reason why I've positioned it at the top and then at the bottom, because then I can position it into the centre. That's if you're doing it this way. There's my little L on my eye. I did wonder where the rest had gone. <laughs> they were on the plate. What do you like? Um, oh, whilst, whilst you're cutting, we can say hi to Joe now. He says, happiness is getting to pop on here for a while before heading to work. Um, my happiness is you guys at CTV, says Sarah Brown. Aww. Uh, there is no bonus buy today, Jeanette Shirley. Um, it's the goodie bag within the showstopper. But by the by, if I haven't mentioned it, um, if you get the showstopper and then you go, oh, I'll buy that goodie bag, you will get duplicates. So don't do it unless you want two of the same thing, Ooh. which you might do. Yeah, it's card well, stock. Do, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. All, it's all stuff, as Nicola says. So um, It's all stuff. Well, it's all stuff you'd want, isn't it? You know. So it's up to you. Um, a reason to be happy in crafting, I'm crafting whilst watching these two beautiful humans, says Aww. Robin. I think, I, think, I think Robin's talking about us. Um, <laughs> and it's my birthday in eight days, says Robin. <laughs> happy birthday for March the 28th. And Terry H, lovely Terry, says, good morning, Ben and Debbie. Everyone, hello from freezing Iowa. I'm happy today because Crafters TV is on. It looks like we bring happiness to people, Debbie. That's I nice, love isn't that. it? That's nice. It is mm. lovely when you hear things like that. Mm. I tell you, I put a little post on last night, feeling very humbled with some of the lovely comments yeah. that I've been seeing. And I just thought, do you know what? It, you, you, you guys, you talk about you making... We make you happy, but yeah. I don't think you realise just how much you do for us as well. No, um, it's true. So never take it for granted, never. Mm. Now then, I've just cut this out to show you, because I am going to be using it, but I did say to you that I'm going to, as you can see, it looks amazing. Do you know what I love about the showstopper? You've actually got acetate in there yeah. and sequins, so yeah. if you wanted, you could add at the back of there um, your acetate, then your foam on a roll, put your sequins in, and you've got a lovely shaker card going off. I love that. Which, uh, again, absolutely fabulous. Let me just try and get this wording out without ripping it, Debbie, because stop being heavy-handed, girl. Uh, but then, of course, you could put your special friend into that centre. However, Mm. I didn't because I did tell you that I've cut it out three times. Could you put your illusion film behind that? Oh yes, why not? That would look nice. Yeah, mm. yeah, definitely. If you wanted to, I've, we saw some lovely makes yesterday where people were actually doing that with other dyes, rather than using the dyes that came with the film. They yeah. were actually putting it behind the other dyes that looked absolutely amazing. Uh, now, to make mine look amazing, I've oh, I said to Tracy oh. today. I look, I, I honestly. It's the ombre glitter. Which which collection is that from, though? That's not from um, Cosmic, is it? No, no, no. It's the ombre glitter oh, just, pad. Uh... Yeah, it's just the ombre glitter pad. And I've cut it slightly smaller than my 5 by 4 just because I want to add that little bit of uh, luxury feel around the back, that lovely rainbow feel. So I am going to use my dotty tape pen. That's mm -hmm. going to go on the back. And when you... Just be careful. Do you know, like, on certain letters, like... Yeah. The A, just be careful where you're popping. And I'll probably use I'll probably switch to another glue in a second just to make sure that doesn't go anywhere. Uh, but you'll know what I mean when you get these home and have a play with them. But yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely just be careful with some of your wording. But you can easily rectify that. You don't want to be because Debbie this morning, heavy handed devil, yeah. doing a bit of social filming and well, I ended up just tearing it straight off. What like are you a fool. like? I know, so I'm just adding it in where I need that extra strength, mm. um, just around there. And then I'm just going to attach that to the back. Now, I know because it's that way, I can go in. I love the fact you've used the special sentiment and you've used the very special cardstock to go behind of it. Of course. That's oh, of course. Amazing. And then I'm going to lift that off just that little bit more by adding a black matte layer behind. So that was five and a quarter by four and a quarter. Yeah. Um, and I'll come in with my tape pen. Again, like I said, at this stage, you could add from, if you're going for that showstopper, your acetate and then your sequins around the back and create the most amazing shaker cards. Love that idea. Yeah, definitely. They, they offer you, like you said, they offer you so much craftability, these, don't they? And, and across all sort of seasons, for all sorts of different people. It's a really, it's a really versatile credit card it kit, is. isn't it? 
It is. I think that's why it's come under the creator card. Yeah, uh, range. I think you're right, actually. Yeah. Debbie's just trying to get that right, so I'm just going to have to trim it down because eyes aren't playing very well today. <laughs> All morning. You what? Yes, Kate, you asked Liam, have been cursing away in this room. You everything, don't curse? What are you talking everything about? Everything I haven't read that you I've curse. today, I've just not been able to get right. <laughs> I had some raspberries for my breakfast in yeah. here with me, and I were getting raspberry juice absolutely everywhere. Seriously. <laughs> While I were trying to prep. There, that's, I feel better now. I feel better now I've done that. Uh, right, so that's my mat and layer that's going to go at the back. Uh -huh. And then to keep that in keeping with that lovely... Oh, look. Mm -hmm. I've got no excuse because I did these here. Oh. I've wasted my cardstock, Ben. Never What's mind. wrong with me? I'm doing it again. Seriously. Seriously, I need to give my head a wobble. <laughs> Don't be wasting precious cardstock like the ombre glitter pad. Although it was Tracy's, so I think I might get away with it. That's all right. I said it quietly. I said it quietly. Did you capture Tracy on, Tracy on that video, the I happiness did. video? Did you? Looking the happiest I've ever seen her. Did you smile? Sort of. <laughs> it might have been more of a grimace, I don't know. <laughs> God love her. Love Tracy. She's got, I think, I blame, no, I won't blame anyone. I think she's got a bit of a, um, what's the word? Everyone thinks, oh, Tracy, you know, she's, but she isn't. She's, you know, most days she's, she's, she's very happy, isn't she? She is, and, and she'd do and, anything you know, for anybody. Laugh. Huh? She would. She'd do anything for everybody. She, she might moan about it, but she'd do anything for everybody. Yeah. She really would. She's got a heart of gold, that girl. And the great thing about Tracy is you know exactly where you are with her. You do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you? I like people like that. She's no nonsense. <laughs> what you need. There's no grey no areas. She's a no-nonsense girl, isn't no. she? She's yeah. a no-nonsense girl. Black or white with Tracy, and that's it. <laughs> you know exactly where you are. Now, I know you're probably thinking, why are you putting a little bit of tacky glue onto the back of your foam pads? Because the foam pads are quite sticky. However, um, this is a um, glitter glue cardstock, so mm. um, I'm just making sure that I've got that extra bit of rigidity. I still wanted to give it the lift by adding the foam pads underneath. And already that's looking fabulous with that lovely rainbow going through there. Um, but we've got our friend piece to pop on. So that was the friend piece that I cut out. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to get rid of um, all my little bits in between. Um, and I'm going to stick that going out. And I think I'm going to... Mm, now then, this is a thing. That's there, nice. Yeah. There. However, I do have a couple of other little things that I want to pop on there. Mm -hmm. Because on your die set, you've got some little extra embellishments. So I've cut some of the butterflies out in that gorgeous glitter ombre um, cardstock that I've used throughout this card. Yeah. Um, mm. Where have you put it, Debbie? Where's Miss? Oh, it's there, Miss Stamp Sentiment. Because you're loved. So I think I might do that. I think that looks okay. Oh, we could have special friend or your loved special friend. Ooh. Ooh, now then, which way works? Which one do you like then? Um, that way or that way? I think. Oh, well, I like the friend further down before. So you like the friend further yeah, down? Right, we'll go your around. way. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm open to uh, ideas. Don't call me sorry, Davis. <laughs> 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 I'm listening to you, Ben. Thank you. You've been around craft long enough to know what's good and pleasing to the eye. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know what looks good. I might not be able to make it look good, but I know what looks good. Um, just to say, a lot of people me uh, mentioned the ombre glitter card. I can't find the one that you're using, but you can still get the um, glitter card pack ombre from the cosmic collection which would work um, ah, so you, yes there was that gorgeous that's one what in there I mean, yeah. yeah so yeah. if you want to add that into your basket that is in stock on the website so you might want to pop that in as a little extra so we're going to go with the loved up at the top your loved special friend because it doesn't matter which way around you pop it you can put it any way you want mm. um so i'm going to come in yeah, it looks lovely, this. And I've matched all the colours onto there. And then, last little finishing details is I'm just going to add those embellishments in. So, I, I, honestly, when I say that this literally is one of those one-stop shops for yeah. everything you need in terms to make some really eye-catching cards. Yeah. Um, and the lovely thing, it's in-house design. It's, uh, it's not a licensed thing, so you can make as many as you want, sell mm. as many as you want for profit or for charity um, or for your own crafting addiction. And I know that because I speak from experience. Um, mm. It's exactly what I used to do. Um, and again, I'm just going to come down and add 
But hasn't it been great this week, as I said earlier, to have these alongside the butterflies that we launched yesterday, alongside those embossing folders? If you knew, what three brilliant collections no, to know. start off with? Yeah, you said you thought it had been planned. I, I wonder if it planned or was an accident, because I think everything works together so lovely. And especially when you see, it says exactly what I want it to say. So yeah. that's going to a special friend of mine. And do you know what I love about it? it the reason it's not... So the, the fact that you've got the happy birthday is a, an occasion, but your special friend, you could mix and match as well if you wanted to, because you could use all of them on there. However, oh, sorry, Ben, are you doing... Are you wanting... What's it? They said you, oh, were giving you, it to, you were giving it to a special friend of yours. Oh, you said this. sorry, Ben, I'm a miles away then. <laughs> is it not? <laughs> not? Of course you're my special friend. Of course but you are. But not the... But not for this one. Not for this one. This is going to a special friend, uh, Linda, if you're watching. Um, <laughs> because because uh, this is it. It doesn't have to be about birthdays. If you just want to send somebody something, that's why we call it that seasonal kind of thing, because it's it's across all the different occasions, not just, you know, just not just set season. Set seasonal? Is that yeah. the right word? Yeah, yeah, You know yeah, yeah. what I mean. I know what you mean. Uh, but honestly... I absolutely, I know I say it all the time, I get really excited about our products because I'm passionate about them, but I genuinely mean it's going to be one of those that's going to work for you, mm. whether you've just started in that world of craft or whether you've been crafting a long time. Uh, this is exactly what it says on the tin. It is. Um, gorgeous card, Debbie, says Christine. Bethan says, I love the glitter ombre pad. As I said, it, no, we don't have that pad available that Debbie's used, but you can get the ombre glitter from the Cosmic Collection, $15.99 on the web if you want to grab it. Woo, says Jeanette. I love the ombre glitter. It, it, it's some of the best cardstock, I think, that we do, in my opinion. Um, Alice says, morning, all the dyes are versatile. I cannot wait to see what Debbie does with them. Um, and Shaz says, hi, Ben, Debbie, and crew, watching whilst eating a Fish finger sandwich. Ooh, get you, Shaz. Um, Anne says, these are not at all what I expected from the um, sneak peeks. Oddly, I want them now. I'm not surprised. Versatility is the key here. Uh, and thank you also to Suzanne. He says, I was thinking, um, that doesn't actually work for me with the friend on top, but I was wrong. It is fabulous. Sorry for doubting you, Debbie. Listen, each to their own, isn't it, really? But um, you could have blamed me because I was the one that told Debbie to stick it there. So if you didn't like it, it's my fault. Um, I'll recap on everything for you in just a few moments' time. We're heading towards 10% of the showstopper already gone. So do be very quick on it. As I say, we haven't got as big a stock as we've had as showstoppers recently, so you know what to do. And if you're getting the showstopper, just to reiterate, don't get the uh, goodie bag separately unless you want duplicate product, because that goodie bag that's available individually is what you've got within the showstopper. If you want more of the uh, the cardstock and the uh, glitter glues and the duetting pads, then do. But just to let you know, if you buy the showstopper and the goodie bag, you will get duplicates. Right, uh, it is already half an hour into the show. Where's that gone? Uh, so let's give you time to get your baskets checked out. And whilst you do that, let's find out more about Debbie Fisher. My day-to-day -day life is uh, pretty busy in wear. Literally, I get in the door, I check my poles, uh, I then check what I've got to demo, I then get everything ready, um, and it's just busy, busy, busy from there. I, um, I have a meeting with the producer, the director, we get then sorted for the shows, uh, talk to the presenter, um, and it depends what side I'm on. I mean, sometimes I'm doing the presenting side, sometimes I'm doing the demonstration side, and I love both. It's actually who I get to work with. That's, yeah, I can't say no more than that other than anybody that works here. Uh, we are a big family. We're so super friendly. Um, I love Ben. I love it when we work, work together. And I don't mean that I don't love anyone else. It's the fact that Ben is the presenter and then I'm demonstrating and we just have this great rapport. Uh, same with Craig, same with Deb, same with the whole team. So yeah, the best part of the day is just getting to work with the best people in the industry. Oh, a night out. Uh, in the morning. Oh, none. I only drink water. Oh, well, I'm cutting out sugar, so it's got to be uh, savoury. Ah, <gasps> masterclass. Oh, I can't leave the house without my lipstick. Oh, I love a baked potato. 
I relax, so I literally drive home normally and then I relax. I like to get up, chill, relax, get a cup of tea, then get myself sorted. And if I'm presenter, I'll write all my notes. If I'm the demonstrator, I'll get my prep out, have another look at it, make sure that everything is the way it needs to be for the show, do the show. Then what I'll do is I'll grab something to eat, then have another look at the sheets again, making sure the next show's all good to go. Then we do that show tidy. I always like to make sure that the area is nice and tidy, either for myself the next day or whoever's in. Jump in the car, head home, I will quickly unpack what I need to unpack and then I get on that sofa as quick as I can. As soon as we go live, I love that within our live shows, I always get the butterflies. As soon as we get that countdown in our ear that we're just going live, butterflies kick in and within about 10, 15 seconds, I'm going. Butterflies have gone and we just enjoy the show. Early riser. Oh, shower in the morning. Tea. Oh, savoury breakfast. Masterclass. My mobile phone. Oh, anything with chicken. Currently, it is the weekend, blind and light, and it has been for about a couple of years, and I still love it. Uh, apart from jumping in the car, chilling on the sofa, watching TV. Welcome back, everybody. Um, thank you for checking out your baskets. I know lots of you still going through the checkout process. The showstopper proving popular, individuals popular, lots of people just jumping in for the collection. Uh, you do you, but as I say, if you want that showstopper, do go very quickly. I'll show you the designs again in just a second before we get on to the next um, demo. Tammy Navarro, hello Tammy, says, good morning, Debbie and Ben. I've just sent you a picture of happy, um, happy happiness day. I love, love, love this show. You are my favorite crafters. Tammy, stop it, you, you'll make us, make us blush. <laughs> we love you all though. We're, we're, we're extra happy today. We're always happy here, um, but we're extra happy today as it is National Happiness Day and it is the first day of spring, although we would be even happier if there was some sunshine. Stupid northern weather, but it's sunny down south. <laughs> well, I'm not down south. I'm in the middle, and yeah. apparently it's raining like cats and dogs outside. So Barnsley's not in the middle, is it? You're... Well, mm. um, I'm South Yorkshire, mm. but I'm... I never remember where we are in the country. Do you know geographically? Yeah. Well, that would you're be sort of, me. I suppose, because you're, you're near Chesterfield, aren't you? Yeah. Um, so you're, you're sort of between, you're sort of Midlandy North, I always think, Barnsley. Do you think so? Yeah, you're sort of not... Well, you're, in my mind, everywhere is north. Anywhere north of Bristol is northern to me. <laughs> um, so you're, you're sort of north, but ever since I've been up here, you're not as north as I once thought you were. <laughs> mm. I, th I think I get that. Yeah. I think I get that. But yeah, I get, I get you. I get you. Uh, great demo, Debbie, says Mary Shaw. Love the dies for the ability to make an awesome card in a few minutes. Mary, I'm going to take that and use that um, as another way to say why you need these. It is an awesome way for you to make a card in a few minutes, as said by lovely Mary. Oh, um, and they are absolutely an awesome way to be able to do that. And not, well, not creator cards like you um, perhaps have seen them in the past, but I think even more versatile than creator cards in the fact that you've got lots of separate components here. Mm -hmm. All of your dies. I love the fact that you can cut into your cardstock and then, like you say, you can, uh, you've then got your, your letters to then piece back in or use Oh, elsewhere. yeah, you paper piecing, yeah. Pa cut it out in a different colour and you could paper piece mm. two different colours together, yeah. And I love the cut, like you just done that. I love it when you do um, like the, the multiple cuts of the same sentiment i think that looks really yeah cool, effective, really yeah. trendy but you've got your um thank you from the bottom of my heart i'm just trying to not let that fall off you've also got your many congrats love that one as well i think um you know the stars and the bunting you could incorporate that with the um the 
The bir oh yeah, the birthday. You have to show that, Ben. It's so fabulous. Just show that many congrats. I know I'm po like I was pointing away. I'm like, Ben, Ben, show him, show him. Oh, I was going to put it on my head, but it's stuck to the thing. Oh, it's but not stuck. Uh, it is. I don't want to unstick How's it. How's it stuck? But just a bit of... But it looks amazing. Doesn't that look cool? Look. And then tip it up. Look at that. Look I at know. that. It's so clever. I love it, though. It's one, me, it's one of my favourite ones. Tracy gave it you. Huh? She gave it you to show off. Oh. I wanted to show it off. They said she gave it Would you. Would you want it? I love that. No, no, no. Keep it there. No, no. Don't upset oh. Tracy's back shot. Oh. Um, no, but isn't that fabulous? Yeah. It is gorgeous. Do you know what you could do? Yeah. You could uh, snip off the Y. Congrats, man. <laughs> Yeah, man. Congrats, man. Whoa, dude. <laughs> Congrats, man. Whoa, super cool. But you could. Look, the birds are agreeing. <laughs> the seagulls out there, they're agreeing with me. You could also... Thank you, man. Can you? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, man. Yeah. You think of what, like, if you're cutting them out, you could do, you could do all sorts of different things, couldn't you? You could go, ha, man, if you wanted. <laughs> it's all the, <laughs> all of the, uh, all of the snippability there for you. But the ideas are flying in. Um, the seagulls are loving it as well. The seagulls are definitely loving it. If you can hear them, they're on. I think they're on the roof. Yeah. So they, they are all chirping away. In fact, it, they're happy. Listen to them. They're happy. It's mm. National Happiness Day. Yeah. Eagles. Shout out! We're trying to do a show in here. <laughs> Go and find the sea. You're in the middle of a town. You're in the wrong place. Worst seagull ever. Right. Um, <laughs> you've got special friend. Right. That comes with stamps and dies. Happy birthday. And then you're also going to get it's really loud. And you're also going to get with love. Pick them individually if you want. You can go for the collection um, on its own. You can. Or if you go for the showstopper, you're going to get all of the added goodies in here too. So you get your uh, fuchsia linen cardstock, 25 sheets. You get your awesome pot of sequins. Quins. You're going to get your duet ink pads in there, which is your Awakening Forest and your Lemon Meringue. And you're also going to get heat resistant acetate, foam pads, and your pack of metallics um, in the precious metals. And this is really nice actually because you get all of these beautiful colours, um, but you get mirror, matte mirror, glitter card, and also your adhesive glitter, which is the only way for you to be able to get it, I believe, in this particular setup. So all of that is included. It is an extra, well, it should cost you an extra £60, $90, but you're £30 or $42 within the showstopper. Amazing value for money. Um, wherever your budget lies, please make sure you shop away. A um, few comments and we'll get back into it. Um, Overcast in Leicester, says Suzanne Dawn. Dull, dull, dull. Um, oh, this one was made by... Oh, yes, it was. Why well, I don't even know I was in doubt with you, Rachel, because you know... This was Radical Rachel's make. No, Rebecca Davies. Oh, I thought it was Radical Rachel's make. Silly old me. No, Rebecca D. Rebecca D. Yeah. Love it. We do love it. Uh, Rosalind says, that is a cute box. At the time of year, you'll be seeing all kinds of graduation cards. Yeah. And of course, um, if you're doing things like this, you've probably got tassels from like other collections as well. Yes, you've done, you've yeah. Done was it the tassels. Venetian? There was two of them, wasn't there? There was a Venetian. Venetian and... Bohemian. Bohemian. Uh, I feel like we've had more. Yeah, I do. But anyway. You can pick tassels up anywhere. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Got some of those posh curtains at home with the tie backs, they have tassels. <laughs> um, Jeanette says, Wow, the graduating sim box is amazing. I think I'm going to steal that idea. Steal away, everybody. That's what we're here for. Um, shall we, though, get into another demo with Debbie? Um, if you want the showstopper, over 10% of the stock gone. Let's go, Debbie. What are you going to show us next? With love. Ah. I love this one. From Russia. Well, you know I love this. I love I love a with love sentiment because yeah. I think it covers a whole heap of different occasions. And again, what you've got here is all of your dies, cutting in, cutting out, embellishment, galore on this one. And um, with love now and always. Aww. So you could use the with love on its own or add that stamp into there too. Now, I am going to start with uh, one of my favourite card folds, which is a double Z fold card. Oh, yeah. So I took a one piece of A4 card and using our um, Ultimate Pro, yep. 
I used the R fold. In fact, let me bring it in so I can show you. Let me bring it in. So I use the half fold A4 and also the gate fold A4. Uh, sorry, the half fold A4. Yeah. Sorry, try Debbie. Well. Debbie. Well. Debbie. What do you like? I can't read. Gate fold A4. Flipping Nora, what is wrong with me again? I think I'm glad I'm off for a couple of days. It's Friday. It's fine. It's my Friday. It's yeah. not really my Friday because I've still got bits and bobs to do around, ready for the weekend oh, yeah. uh, but that's the fold that I did it on and then I just cut this strip and if I remember rightly I cut it to two and a half so I cut two and a half off so that I've got this from one sheet of an A4 cardstock and then obviously with a double Z fold what we're doing is we're folding it in on itself folding it back and I'm doing this for the the, the new viewers out there we know you've got plenty um, so you can see the Z shape the doubleness comes from this one because it's exactly the same fold but all we're doing is we're twisting it around so the long goes on the short the short goes on the long yeah. to create the double z fold card which yeah. i absolutely love love these style of cards because you can have it down at the bottom you can have it in the middle you can have it at the top and i think i'm going to do that actually i'm going to okay. change my mind what i was going to do now first of all where i'm going to use my dies is i'm going to bring in the uh, smaller strip and we're going to have a little play with this one so again i'm going to pop me with um in this section and I'm doing it onto white because I have picked quite a strong colour for my um, background pieces, uh, which is from the Kingfisher collection. Love that paper pad. Even our lovely Jamie was saying how gorgeous it was. He didn't realise how beautiful it was. He only ever sees it through camera. Mm. And he came, he came in and he was like, oh, he went, oh my God, is that that paper? But I went, yeah. Mm. He went, it's even better in real life. I was like, mm. yes, it is. Beautiful. I think a lot of our stuff you see with your own eyes is better. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. So I'm just going to pop that um, off there. Now then, pokey tool. You know, he's, oh, poor little Liam. I think they were saying something at Liam to you. All right, just so we can explain, mm. Liam's getting ready for um, a show later on tonight. Mm. They are, we, are we able to say? Um, are we allowed to say? I don't know, really. With Sarah? It's not really... I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah? Oh, Liam says, Liam says, yeah. Yeah, well, we have to check Liam. Liam. Says, yeah, so it's fine. It's, um, Sarah's doing a show on QBC tonight at seven. So, um, yeah, tune in. Liam is basically constructing the set for that show right now. But if we um, said there was a bed, some yeah. wardrobes. There's a bed, some wardrobes, and, um. We've had Tracy iron in the bedding. Yeah. Because Liam burnt it. <laughs> He burnt it? <laughs> he burnt it's very, the bedding? It's very funny. <laughs> I've heard of the song Beds Are Burning, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bless dear. you, Liam. We, we oh, are friends. Oh, outed on live TV. <laughs> dear, oh, we dear. are friends. Oh, he's he's now sorting out outfits, I think. He is oh, indeed. He, I, did, oh, well, I he, did wonder. He's dressing the set. I thought he was actually picking... Sarah's outfits, but he's he's dressing. <laughs> he's not. He's, dre he's, he's a dress setter. The, set. the boy yeah. is a man of many, many, many talents. And let me tell you, that boy is not a one-trick pony. No. He does all sorts. He's absolutely amazing. Yeah. He is. Couldn't be without him. Um, hi to uh, Judith, who says, love the mortarboard card. It could be the top of a gift for a student graduating. Uh, and Jonel says, those seagulls are just trying to get their two cents worth in. I know they are, aren't they? And they've disappeared, though, now, Ben. They've gone. They've gone. That's because I told them to sling it. <laughs> they've slung their hook. They I, have... I think you upset them. Well, good. Uh, Debbie says, Carol, you sound just like me. At times, the brain works one way and the mouth works another way. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Mm. It does. Um, I am one of those... Uh, <laughs> what you see is what you get kind of people. Yeah, <laughs> Whether that's why we like love you. Yeah. It's a good job you do, I keep saying that. Oh, look, look, it's looking really nice. Yes. Do you know, I was thinking I'm going to pop it in the middle of this one as well. So I'm going to have with, with, with. With, love. with, with. With, 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 love. <laughs> I'm going to put that in the centre, though, so I've got, like, a little bit... Higher, lower, in the middle. 
I love having a play around with them. That, that's the thing about this collection. It's just having a little play with them. Yeah. Um, and seeing what works for you. You could just, of course, just use the one with and the one love, if that's all you want to say. Oh, one love. Du, 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 du. One love. Oh, I'm going love. to see him soon. Mm. I'm going to see him soon. That's blue, isn't it? Yeah, it is. In April, I'm going. Mm. Yeah. Who's your fave? Oh, my fave. In the band. Ooh, that's a tough one. One love is all we need. I love, I love, I love Simon. Simon Webb, yeah. I love uh, Duncan. Yeah. I love Anthony. You know, I've met Anthony. You know my story, don't you? I'm no. sure I've told you. No, have you told me? Have you told me no, this before? I think I, they're Duncan from Blue. I love Duncan from Blue. Yeah, my Laura went on a date with him when she was at school. Have you told me that before? I, don't, I think I, I, I've mentioned it on air before. Maybe I haven't told you. Your Laura went on a date with Duncan from Blue. Yeah, because they went to the same school together, <gasps> same college together. I think they were about, they weren't uh, like 50, 15, 16, something like that. They went They'd to still see. remember your Laura. Probably, probably would. Yeah, of course they would. You don't forget people you've dated. I mean, you'd like to forget some people you've dated, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't forget, you wouldn't forget your Laura. Well, I wouldn't now. I've been with her 20 odd years. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? I can't believe that. If you've told me that story before, I've never heard it. Yeah. They oh, went I'm... to see, I want to say it was uh, My Girl or something they want to go and watch. Because he's from Sydney. That's old, see. isn't it? That, that's As an old well. film. Yeah, early 90s. Duncan yeah. Ingalls is his real name. A what he? Duncan Ingalls. Is that his name? That's his real name, isn't it? Never knew that. Yeah. Never knew. Do you know, I love this to yeah. learn things all the time. Yeah. You do. Now, I've cut all of my pieces out. So this is me with, with, with. And I'm going to pop on this segment, love. However, Debbie has put her green cardstock. Do you know, I think I might have given it back to Tracy. Oh. What am I like? What are you looking for? Well, do you know what? <clears throat> Imagine that I've just run the love die through the machine. Yeah. Ta -da! <laughs> Ta -da! Ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> there That's you magic. go. And put me with, 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 love. However, we have also got now and always because mm. I just think that's lovely. I, I, I think it's a nice little one and, and I want to use that collection up um, to its fullest. Mm. Right. However, can I just tell you, all of these I am not throwing because you have got all of those words again to yeah. be able to spell with. And you could use that on another project. So mm -hmm. if it was a different colour cards that you could put those back in or you could just use those with the love and that's what I'm loving about this die set. So you may see this one replacing my uh, very favourite with Whoa, Love Die. That will because, never happen. Oh, it will. It will, because I, I love this. And I love the fact that you've got all the cutouts for this one are all what I call intact. Yeah. As in, they're full words that are uh, full letters that are cut out. So for me, and adding it with this, you're going to see this feature a lot, lot more mm -hmm. in upcoming makes. I can tell you that right now. Now, this is where we've got, I've already popped on and I'd, rather than me cut all these panels out, I've pre-done them. Ooh, um, wow. So I've got, I've used the Kingfisher. I think it's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful pad. Um, so I'm going to pop that down there and then I've, I've turned it over. So it's the same sheet, but on the other side. Yeah. That's what I love about our double-sided. And I'm going to pop those into those panels. Okay. So I'm going to come in first. Um. Oh, we've got claims to fame coming in now. Re our Rachel says, I was taught by Stuart Broad's mum, England cricketer, uh, and I was a year or two behind him at Oakham. There you go. Um, See, I don't know who that is because I don't follow cricket, but I know you do. He's just retired. He's um, England cricketer. He's just, he's just retired from cricket. He's, um, oh, he's, his wife is, a, is very famous. She's, oh, I can't think of her name now. She's, um... Uh, uh, Stuart Broad's wife. She's a singer, I want to say, or an actress. I can picture her face, but I can't think of her name. Oh. You know, you'll know his wife, Molly King. Oh, from from the, the Saturdays. Saturdays. Yes. She did the ch she did the Children in Need yes. Um, yes. Uh, challenge this year. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's her. That's Stuart Broad's <coughs> I think, did she wife. Do the, did she do? Oh, she did a cycle, that. didn't she? She did the cycling. Yeah. Yeah, that's his wife. Wow, I didn't know that. Um, Bethan says, loving this border strip. And uh, Evelyn says, this looks beautiful. Karen says, I like seeing different card folds and learning the new ways to make cards. Do you know what? I, I love the way that you've been using these creator card dies because I think it's kind of showing the versatility and the fact that you have got separate dies. You've got lots of almost different ways to create your 
projects and, with and them. And I think that's why we've tagged it under the Create Accord line. I think that's exactly why we've done that, Ben. Yeah. Because um, we could have called them sentiment dies and stamps, mm. but you know, it's. I, I think sometimes that can put people off when you say Create Accord. And as you know, we we talk about Create Accords a lot here. Um, so many different ways, so many. We showed you that at the beginning of the show. Um, I'm on to my second demo to show you my, my take on them. Yeah. But you literally could be um, creating so many different folds. Mm. You could be using things from your template library to attach these to as well. Um, other things that you might have in your collection. But I absolutely love them. Now, I was going to, in fact, I am going to keep it like that because I think it's quite striking. I think my paper, and I, again, I could, at this stage, add some, um, an, a strip of, ooh. A strip of ooh. ooh? Do I add a strip of cardstock? Oh, I threw it in the bin, but do you know what? Oh, it would work. I know. I wonder if it'd work. Might be able to get away with that. On, I'll definitely get away with it on that one which is the one that's going to be hanging away. Is that going to be hanging away? Let's just put that back in there. Yes, it is. Let's go. Let's do it. Are you going to back the... I'm going to patch it up. I'm going to do a little bit of patchwork. Oh. I'm just going to add something a little bit different there. OK. I loved... I loved... <laughs> now, this is what I'm like. I get an idea in my head and then I change up. I, I, I change things around. Um, you'll be the same when you're creating... Um, sometimes what you what you start with, you don't necessarily end up with. That's that what I'm going to say on that one. So I'm going to pop that at the back of there. Let me just make sure that fits right over all of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, just, just, and then I can get rid of that just by. That's the lovely thing about the dotty. It's a bit like all-purpose glue. You can get rid of all the excess. Yeah, one. yeah, roll it away. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I'm glad pretty. I put that there. Um, and I know that that one's going to be attached to the front. But that one isn't, so I'm going to pop that on there as well. So let's just cut that down. Uh huh. Yeah, fair. Perfect. Yeah, let's change it up. I like a good old change up. I am exactly the same when I'm at home and I'm creating something. And then I look at it and think it looks okay and then think, no, nah, nah, just change. Have a little change. A little bit of crafty improvisation. And why not? And why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that now because I know that that one will sit there at the yeah. background, so that'll be absolutely fine. And I am thinking I'm going to go a little bit higher than I normally oh, would. Oh, yeah, because normally you're down yeah, the bottom, normally you the... see me, and, and that's, uh, again, Double this is what I was going to do. However, mm. we're going to change that up again. Right. Uh, right, so first things first, I'm going to put my glue onto this side. So I'm going to use me, um, I am going to use me all purpose, actually. Gives me a little bit of a wiggle time again. Yeah. And I'm just going to attach it first to, and I'm going to take it right up to the very end. I'm going to leave a little bit there because it's so white, it could be a little bit stark if I took it right up to the top. So I'm just going to bring it down about, call that half an inch. Yeah, half an inch down. And I'm just going to seal that on. Now, whenever I do this, I always make sure I fold back before I attach my glue to this panel. Um, now, when I say attach my glue to this panel, I need to be careful because I've got obviously the word in there. If I'd got a piece of cardstock behind it, it would be absolutely fine. Um, so I'm gonna use my dotty around the back of the word mm -hmm. and then I'll use the um, wet glue everywhere else. Jeanette says, I think using the back side of the card for a few panels makes the larger panel more impactful. And I wasn't sure of plain white, but this is looking really nice. Thank you very much. Um, and she also says, I don't think I ever end up with what I thought I started to make because I'm always <laughs> tweaking along the way. Exactly. That's, that's me all over as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, now, I'm just going to make sure that it uh, matches. So I'm going to fold that down and just make sure that it unlines. I'm going to have to lift it up. It looks OK on camera, but I just like to just lift things just a tad. That's better. There we go. Now, again, it... I mean, it's very impactful straight away, but I'm going to add me sentiment on there and I'm going to add it with um, foam pads. Where are you? <laughs> foam pads. I lose them all the time. If you're I always losing foam this... pads like Debbie, make sure you get the showstopper because you've got plenty of, show... plenty of foam pads in the showstopper. Do you want to borrow some of mine? Well, I have them, but I don't know where they've gone. Let me just have a little peek. Oh. <clears throat> Under your tape pen. Under my tape pen, yes. What do you like? What am I like? Yes, exactly. 
and I'm not the only one that loses things. I know that you all there will be doing exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm gonna put the now and always just over this one. Isn't that but half then, the fun when you're crashing, losing stuff and spending 20 minutes of your time oh trying to no, find it? Oh, no, it's the most frustrating thing in the world. <laughs> it drives me absolutely mad. And then I get so angry with myself. Mm. And I think, how, how on earth have you lost things? You had them in your hands a minute ago. The last time when I did that, I found them, they were under the wheel of my chair, the my craft chair. They'd wrapped around, with the illusion film, it had wrapped around my flowers. Oh, I was gutted. never. Absolutely gutted. Uh, right, so now we've got the fold all stuck down. Yeah. Perfect. Um, so I'm just going to add that extra little bit of embellishment. This is when you can play around, though, because, you know, like we said yesterday with the uh, butterflies, they could be the thing that you're adding to this project oh, if you've gone for them. Yeah. So, yeah. Loving, 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 loving all the launches that we've had this week. They all tie in very nicely together. They do, indeed. They do, indeed. Yeah, your background could be the embossing folders. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. And yeah, then we've got I'm a launch coming it. tomorrow as well that you might want to use alongside all of the other launches that we... Oh, what's uh, coming tomorrow? What's coming tomorrow? It's the new... Um, Am I allowed to, are you allowed to tell it's me? The, I think I'm allowed to say. Let me just double check because they've got so many launches coming out. It, it is what I think it is, isn't it? It is what I think it is. Oh, yeah, we've got the, the new masks. Ooh! Mm, with Sheena. Ooh! Oh, ooh! Oh, no. <laughs> just dropped me. <laughs> got that excited. I dropped it. <laughs> the glue down on there. What are you like, Debbie? What are you like? I'm sure within the set there's like butterflies, there's florals in there as well. There's like a little dandelion. Um, what a great day it's going to be, though, with our lovely Sheena. Yeah, she's doing By a way, mixed media me. masterclass as well tomorrow. Is she really? Mm -hmm. Perfect person. Will you remind me? I need to clean. Bri Bri, give him oh. a new name. Um, I need to clean him. Bri Bri, wait Bri till Bri. I tell her you got a pet name for I've him. I've got a new name for him, yeah. I need to clean him because he looks like he's been in a massacre. Oh, Honestly, no. he looks terrible. He's all red and I haven't cleaned him and it's now two days since. This is oh, Sheena's no. sponge, by the way, everybody. Yeah, oh, I got, um, I'm going to get into trouble, I know I am. <laughs> I kind of think she's trouble. not going to be using him tomorrow after all the posts I've seen over on her page with the diagram that they drew. Did you see that? <laughs> but on, the, on, the no on the naughty step. Yeah, that's so hilarious, funny. that. Is that what Marie created? <laughs> <laughs> There's a picture of me with Brian hand in hand going through. <laughs> that's hilarious, that one. I've not seen that one. Have you not seen that? That's oh, in no, Sheena's I... inkette. So if you're part of the inkette oh, group, you'll know look. what I mean by that. Um, <laughs> I saw the diagram of the naughty step and where you were and where Brian was. Oh, I didn't see that. You'll have to show me that one. Oh, that, that must have, I think that must have been before. Yeah, no, there's a picture of me holding Brian's hand, walking away from, like, everywhere. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and I did literally, I nearly spat my tea out. I was, I was honestly howling. I've lost one in my foliage parts as well. Ooh, oh, let me get I've just the other... seen it. Have you seen it? Come along, Brian. Yikes, I've got shows with Sheena on Thursday, Debbie. APP, Debbie Robinson. <laughs> that is I swear brilliant. it's Maria. She's just got the amazing sense of you. They, they both have. I mean, you know what they're like. They're bonkers, those two, aren't they? they? Are in the bonkers. Best, in the best possible crackers. way. Oh, there's me other piece. That's where it, it went on card all along. Um, let me just grab... What have you done with your glue, Debbie? Let's just finish this off there perfectly. And then I'll show you. And again, just have a little play. You've got everything you need to be able to create all of this. Mm. Um, and I've just kept it. Because I've got such a strong, vivid background paper, I didn't want to overload it too much there. Uh, so with, 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 love, now and always. Um, and again, a really nice little fold that you can incorporate these fabulous dies with. Sixty pounds or eighty bucks if you want to go for the uh, showstopper. All of the goodies you're going to get. So all of the dies, all of the stamps. It is um, forty-one dies and stamps in total. But you've seen the versatility with this, and that's why I think we're kind of putting it underneath that sort of uh, creator card umbrella. Thank you. And again, you get sentiments with all of these as well from the bottom of my heart. Special friend, you're loved. You're also going to get the many congrats. You did it. Yay. Uh, happy birthday. Hope it's the best yet. And then you've also got with love. Um, you, sorry, now and always. Uh, of course, if you're going for the showstopper, you get all of the goodies as well. It is an extra £61 or $92 worth of goodies for just £30 or $42 within the showstopper. 
Welcome. If you've just... Oh, that was very cinematic, wasn't it? Welcome. <laughs> one man, <laughs> one woman, one lodge, <laughs> one sponge. Uh, welcome to launch day. It is the second hour. It's the first hour's flown over. Can I just tell you that the, the, this week has gone so fast. I think it's because a Debbie's in. It always <laughs> goes quick when Debbie's in because we have a laugh and it's always very um, inspirational. Uh, B. It's National Craft Month. C. Uh, we've got launches galore. D. We've got mystery bags. E. We've got codes. Let me tell you about all of that. National Craft Month. We've got what? Ooh, Eleven days left now, uh, where we are giving you the opportunity to join us for loads of brand new launches. Another launch coming tomorrow. More launches coming your way next week. There are some big launches coming next week. Let me just tell you. Uh, but alongside all of that we are bringing you the opportunity to well, almost like try out new crafts if you like because we're bringing you codes within each sort of crafty discipline this week it's all about mixed media uh, so if you're into your mixed media or indeed if you're someone perhaps who if you're one of those people who's like oh mixed media you know those sort of people then give it a go this week because you can pick up um, loads of great items 30% off selected mixed media items with that code NCM mixed media and if you are one of those people come back tomorrow for goodness sake because you've got Sheena launching those brand new masks and you have got a masterclass as well on mixed media. And as Debbie said, I can't really think of anyone better uh, to have a masterclass like that. She's an absolute genius, as you know. Um, so make sure you come in, join us, ask the questions, get your kind of mixed media mojo up. And um, that is gonna be a show to absolutely love. Uh, today though, of course, uh, launching the brand new collection, which we'll go into more detail about in just a few moments time. Uh, but we've also got some other goodies on the show for you too. Uh, like for example, your dye brush tool, always very, very handy to have, um, whether it be for cleaning out your dyes or sometimes helps you to get all the bits and pieces pieces that of the actual die cut itself. You get the tool, you also get the um, sponge, use those two together to make life very easy for yourself. And down the line, I mean a long way down the line, you will need to replace those um, heads. So we give you three replacement heads because we are trays generous. Uh, the platinum price today is incredible. You're saving over 40%, less your 20 of course. £3.99 or $7.96 is the platinum price on that. All kind of craft room essential tools here. And talking of essential tools, if you want to go a little bit further, what about our intricate tools collection? So we give you one of the die brush tools there with the sponge. You also get the three replacement heads, set of our Centuripel cardstock and you got your pokey tools, low tack tape, which you, uh, again, never want to run out of because they're great for taping down your stencils, great for making sure that your dies don't slip when you're popping them through your machines. And also we're going to give you one of our glue tape pens as well. Uh, $13.99 is your platinum price or $23.59, saving 25%, less another 20. And the Duet ink pads. These are incredible. Again, if you are looking for a one-stop shop of um, creativity with ink pads, you can do so much with these. So many different techniques, all of your blending, all of your layering, uh, you do your water techniques with them. Um, I actually used these on my last little um, Mosby's Makes and a lot of fun I had with them too. I did some smooshing with them. Ooh, nice bit of smooshing. Um, and it was great. And, and these are now, aren't they? Um, oh, they, these are now Leanne's favourite um, ink pads of all the ink pads because literally you can do so much with them um, but that may all change next week with a brand new launch of some new ink pads which is on Monday is it yes, yes. so you'll have to wait and see every time I go to see the price it disappears <laughs> 40 pounds or $60 is the price there. It is a bargain. Uh, you're getting all 12, the, uh, the full collection there, if you like, for that amazing price. Uh, thank you, everyone, for all of the comments coming through. Uh, Bethan says, Debbie is so genuine, and it just shows that even experts change things up from original plans. Hey, if the experts do it, it's great for us mere mortals as well, isn't it? There you go. Ah. Oh. oh, that wasn't for me. Oh, that was no, fair. no, no. He, oh. I, I'll, give you, I'll give you that all the time, but it was that lovely comment. Thank you very much. That was very kind that of you. That was Bethan. But thank you, Bethan. Uh, and Stephanie says, I think these dies are going on my wish list. They are so much fun. Um, and Robin McMorris says, I kind of want to know how many butterfly dies Debbie owns <laughs> and what her favourite is. I mean, that's a, that's a show on its own. 
isn't it? We've only got, <coughs> we've only got 50 minutes. Like that. It's like asking who your favourite kid is. <laughs> There's just, I can't because I love them all. Um, I do love the great big statement butterfly that we did, and I think that was, oh, it's a three piece one. That was, I never remember which one that, that was. That vintage butterflies, that was. Was it vintage? Mm. It was the, the one, yeah. Cut, we've, done, cut. we've done two similar, but they were different. But ah. However, I'm not going to lie, I love what we brought yesterday. Um, they are sitting firmly on mm. my craft desk. I will be using them all the time um, because they are going to work with all sorts of different collections and that's why you guys love them just as much as I do. It's a very difficult question to answer though, that one. Good one. You gotta, Robin, you gotta. Uh, keep the comments and questions coming through. We are going to have a look at some more projects and have a look at some finished samples with Debbie as well with this um, collection, because seasonal in respect of you can use these across seasons, I would say, Debbie, and create yes. a card, yeah, but they're slightly different to kind of what people perhaps may expect from a creator card. Yes, because when you think of a creator card, Dan, the reason I'm going to show you some samples as well, for anybody who's just joined us in this hour, I want, I want you to see some of the beautiful makes and some of the reasons why we're calling them from the creator card range, because of the different types of cards that you can make using these. And these are just a few of those examples. So, for example, you could use the wording just as it is, the special, the friend and the stamp together and those little embellishments that are in there or you could do like this again very similar to what I started with but a different perspective in terms of just using ink onto there and that looks absolutely beautiful love this one because again different styles of cards you can have them running down the side going across the top you've still got your U there and your stamp onto there uh, this is another lovely one cut into the card stock so that word I know it's the same color as my dress there sorry about that but uh, you can get the general gist of how you can can use these yeah again this is another lovely one I love the uh, bright color of that that's that's fabulous and um, that same die then changes when you change it onto a different fold which is why we're putting it under the creator card range because we want you to see just how many variants of a card of a fold that's that pretty. you can use this that's really nice I'm doing yeah. something similar in a minute but not quite the same um, but again these are the kind of things that you can use now you've just seen me do a double Z fold card uh, yeah. this is another one but just using the with love on its own in the stamp so mm. again lots of things and they are a one shop stop stop shop stop shop 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 that that one Tip because <clears throat> stamps Dies, embellishments, all in one packet. Don't forget you're getting five of these. And the seasonal part is means that you can use them throughout the year for different occasions. Yeah. Um, so that's why we gave them that name. We always have to think of these names. It gets very difficult, you know. I say we. <laughs> Those poor guys next door oh. um, with Leanne and the team having to think of all the different names of all the different products that we can call them. So that's why we've called it, because it crosses all the seasons, all the different occasions that you're going to be using throughout the year, throughout your makes. And that's why I love them. Right, I've shown you the cards. I'm going to get ready with the next demo. I'll be back in a second. Marvellous stuff. And just to quickly recap on everything you get in the show, suffering, in fact, in case you have just joined us. Uh, hi, Becky Haas, by the way. There's a name I've not seen for a while. Saying hi, Debbie and Ben. In for a sneaky peek from work. I forget that people have to go to work now. Um, oh, work, eh? Oh, dear. Did it get in the way? Work. Oh, it's lovely to have you all with us. And as I say, um, seeing names recently of people I've not seen for a while and loads of lovely new names as well. So um, welcome, everybody, and welcome back if you haven't been with, with us for a while. I know life gets in the way, but we appreciate whenever you can jump in, even if it's just for five minutes, say hello, let us know that you're there because uh, we love and miss you all. Um, right, all of the stamps and dies then. So you, and you can get these individually, by the way, if you want to do that, if you want to just give these a bit of a try and have a play, feel free to. But this one is your with love. And, you know, like Demi's already really brilliantly demonstrated cut in with these but then the great thing is you're going to get the waste to use elsewhere so you can use the inner part of that on a separate project you can paper piece with these if you want as you've seen again create shakers use things like your film back these with beautiful cards so love the card that debbie did with the ombre glitter you've got um that beautiful love sentiment here and then again lots of handy little dies to create uh your maybe a wreath maybe a little floral bouquet and you get a stamp with each one as well so with love now and always then you're going to get happy birthday and again you get your stamp with that too so happy birthday hope it is the best yet again uh happy cutting in keep the innards of that if you like as well for other projects there's your birthday die and then you've got all of your uh, beautiful florals in there too 
Then you're going to get this one. I think this is my favourite. And I'm a bit of a, a sucker for a bit of bunting and a star. I think this, again, as well as that's many congrats, I think you could definitely use the, um, the decorative elements there with your happy birthday. It would work it really nicely for a kid's happy birthday. Yeah, and if you really wanted to be, like, you know, super cool and down with the kids like Debbie is, you could just take that there and that, like that, and then you could go like <laughs> that. You could go, happy man, happy birthday, man. Congrats, man. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Nicola's favourite tip of the day. Favourite tip of the day. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, and with this one, you know, uh, if you've got, um, you know, someone who goes to the, uh, the, the gym, yeah, with you, you could just get rid of the I, the A and the L and the, the S and you could have peck friend. Yeah, somebody... <laughs> <laughs> can you <laughs> just you know there's all these different things that you can do but I, I absolutely love that uh, and then also you've got thank you but again it, it is it is a case in point in the fact that you do have a lot of letters within this set so you can potentially spell out lots of other things as well aside from all of the um, dies that we've got within this set so thank you special friend all the other bits and pieces that collection there you can get on its own right um, if you want to go individually you can if you want to go for the showstopper because someone was asking uh, Teresa what's in the showstopper everything else I'm about to show you here so for an extra 30 pounds or 42 dollars you're going to get your 40 sheets of cardstock so it's your precious metals which you get in glitter in mirror matte mirror and also your adhesive glitter card you're going to get 25 sheets of your fabulous fuchsia in the linen card you're also going to get foam pads 12 sheets of heat resistant acetate you've got your uh, bottle of glitter glue there and you've got your two duet ink pads which are your lemon meringue and your awakening forest plus you've got a huge pot of sequins in there as well i was saying earlier on how amazing this pack shop looks it's very sort of arty farty isn't it mm -hmm. i love the way that tracy's just love, sort of yeah. scattered the sequins across. I, love, I love how she's done that mm -hmm. looks amazing and then of course um, everyone has been ooing and ahhing at uh, all of the beautiful cards here particularly our little um mortarboard there as well which is very very cool i love it i just love it i think it's absolutely fab yeah and i just think you know in, in that a great one for anybody who's you know whichever way i mean if you if you took the tassel off it could be for anybody who who's maybe passed through test um, well, yeah, driving exams test. Yeah. or whatever it is but i do love how rebecca's done that one it looks incredible it does rebecca congrats <laughs> that is can you just fantastic. show that with love one at the side as well i don't know who's done that one but can you see that one i love that that's Ooh. all being cut that's with rebecca the... as well is that rebecca too i love that yeah. she's just cut out otherwise now that could be done two ways you could use the width to cut into the cardstock or all of your waste you could also do but i personally would use that's been cut in cut in mm. exactly i would find the paper piece in putting all of those on it should drive me mad but that's one good way of using it as well mm. and i love that um, and I do love how she's placed all those lovely florals around it as well. Because everything that on there is from that set. Yeah. Just love it. Very clever. Uh, definitely need to invest in these, says Bethan. Uh, gorgeous samples. Uh, Stephanie Theodore says, stash builder alert. I know, isn't it? Auga, auga. Stash builder alert. And Tammy Barnhouse on Facebook says, this set is so cool, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, time for another demo? Yes, absolutely. So I'm going to use thank you this time. Um, and if, again, for the advantage of those people that have just joined us, um, this is how you'll get your set. So you'll get your word that cuts in, but of course cutting in, the waste parts are the word that you can use to add uh, onto other cards. And then you've got the word you, you've got your sentiments. And then on the other side, you've got your um, stamp sentiments, which is from the bottom of my heart. Again, if you want to use that, I've been using it throughout just because I want to give you the full impact of this fabulous collection. Uh, but what I've done is I've taken a piece of, now this was from Say It With Flowers, but I like this side, the muted side. So I'm going to cut into this paper, this cardstock, because I think is it 180 GSM? 
think it is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to place it, and this measures six and a half by six and a half for anybody wanting to know the measurements. And I'm going to place it roughly about half an inch down and in the centre. I'm using my um, board here, my uh, glass mat, to be able to centralise that. Um, <clears throat> what do you do with the tape? Oh, do you know? I'll probably find it on my body before long. <laughs> Seriously, I find it stuck everywhere on my, on my dress. On my arm. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I do I find it. Does anybody else have the tape. same problem with tape? Mm. Low tack tape. I found some on my boot. I, I found I found on some on my, my shoe before. Yeah. yeah. On my boot. Could you believe that? I mean, really. What's well, I can that kind about? of believe it, seeing as what you do, and stuff goes on the floor and you're traipsing around, aren't you? So I can believe that. Yeah, if I don't. Um, the stairs, backing off red liner tape, I um. that gets everywhere, doesn't it? Because it's like staticky absolutely everywhere it drives me absolutely crazy have you ever taken off your clothes before and like stuff dropped oh, out yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've had glitter drop out of there um <laughs> i've had sequins <laughs> drop out of there um, <laughs> gems drop out of there uh, what else i've had a red liner tape um all sorts mm. literally all sorts the best bit was when i was in the bath i told you didn't i'll tell you when I don't know if you did. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep. They're trying to watch what I say because I, I forget I overshare too much sometimes. So you're in um, the bath. In the yeah. bath, and I look down at my toes, right. and in between my toes, red liner tape backing. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I mean, that you know, I just don't know how it happens, but it does. It does. I almost was about to say, weirdest place you found something crafty, but let's not go there. No, no, no. Well, no. Now, let's, let's not, not open do that. that one up. <laughs> 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 oh, Rachel's gone there. I found a self-adhesive gem stuck to my backside, uh, <laughs> says Radical <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> oh, did, were you meant to share that bit? I don't know. But Rachel, <laughs> Rachel, you win. You win. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got my first bank cut out and then what I'm just going to do is turn it around and we're going to do exactly the same although I'm going to remember myself for a second because <laughs> I did this earlier on on a social film and put it the wrong way around so I just want to make sure I've got this the right way uh, let me uh, yes I want to go there so we're going to go up to that top again I'm just doing this by eye but literally about half an inch quarter of an inch down in the centre and then just secure that back in and run that back through. <laughs> and again, I'm not using the magnetic shim. What I'm going to do is just run that through and bring it back for a double cut. Okay. And that cut out perfectly fine. And you'll hear, there you go, you'll hear the difference. You can hear that little crackle sound, which is the sound of when it's cut. Um, and then I'm just bringing it back out because I'm using my larger plates rather than letting them run through I'm just going to bring that straight back all of your words that are cut out as well but ba ba bag them up pop them in a little pot because you're going to be able to use that fank especially if you're paper piecing this into some white cardstock you could use the um, uh, the, the word back again you could pop that back into there yeah. so yeah it's definitely worth saving these don't don't think about throwing them uh, pop them in a little pot or get them popped onto a piece of cardstock straight away when you've taken them out yeah and then you've got um you've got your thank or oh, in this ha i don't know what i've done with my tea but now i've got ha han han solo oh by the way, I forgot to mention, if I haven't done it yet in this hour, make sure you keep messaging and saying hello and commenting because we are giving a mystery bag away to someone who comments. Oh, we've had lots of comments, Amazing. actually. Amazing. I don't know where the bag's gone, uh, from when I was with you. That it... bag has been... <laughs> It's been everywhere. It's been a complete mystery as to where we've actually popped it. It's only a prop bag, to be fair, but it, 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 it's a mystery bag. Yeah, I like the prop. We need the prop bag. I'll go and find it. Go and get the prop. While I'm just... Oh, do you know, I'm not... Hang on a minute. I meant, I meant to send that back and I've completely forgot. Um, but, yeah, um, let's go and get that prop bag. Yeah. Honestly, pop all these into a word, uh, into a, a little tub or a little bag, or get them popped straight onto some cardstock so that you've got it ready. Um, and then you could add your U to this as well. So I wouldn't be throwing any of these away. I would definitely be um, saving every single one um, and using the, uh, using them again. And again, that's what I love about this collection. There's so many different ways. I'm just showing you a few different styles, but you would normally naturally assume that's a waste but it isn't. And then also again, I'm just going to do exactly the same. Let me get rid of that one. Let's just poke that one out. There we go. Um, and then I've just finished that off. And all I've done is turned it around each time and I've just placed it. So you'll end up with it going around um, the whole of that square. 
and I think it looks quite a nice, you know, another different way of using it. Have you found the prop bag? Hey, I have. So someone is going to win a mystery bag just for commenting. Do you want to know what you're going to win? <gasps> Ooh, it's, it's a mystery. A mystery. Oh, it's, it's a mystery. mystery. I'm still searching <laughs> for a clue. Got, I can't remember it. Rest at Lines. I love that song, but I just cannot remember. We'll have to stick it on in between shows. Yeah, definitely. We'll I'll get it on Spotify. Toya Karaoke. Yeah. I love Toya. What did Jamie just whisper in my ear then? 14? 40. 40. Oh. 40. <sighs> I nearly, I nearly then, I was like, 14? Where's that gone? Oh, I um, tell you. Tammy says, I missed this because I was at the studio looking for the bag. Um, no metal plates with these dies? No, no. So, um, as you've seen, I've not used the metal plate, I've not used the magnetic shim. I've just simply popped that through. I have double-cutted that because it's a thinner paper, but sometimes and you'll know what i mean by this when you put too many plates in mm. you end up with indentations into your card um all your low tap tape becomes the most strongest tape in the world and you're having to brise it off and that's down to the pressure of when it's gone through the machine so i've tried and tested this and i know that this works through the machine without the magnetic shim apart from that first one but it was a thicker card stock so it just needed that extra little push through there mm. uh, but again i think that looks i'm, I'm I'm loving this. Looks great. I'm loving it. Yeah. So I'm going to bring in, because uh, I've got my card base here, let me just bring all of this back in, because I'm uh, just, uh, just let me throw those down. There we go. Um, again, I'm not going to throw those away. I'm going to put oh, those no. back in the packaging, actually, and then I can save those. Um, I think those would look quite fun in a little shaker, have all the different letters inside a Oh, like I a shaker. like that. I think, maybe. Love that idea. Yes. Ben, that's a cracking idea. Thank you. Love that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Very appreciative of that. Uh, thank you very much. You I think can, uh, yeah. think you I can might use just it. do that. Mm. Mm. Uh, right, now, I've added... Oh, look, I'm a clever girl. I've done it this time. Yeah, I've, whoop, yeah, whoop, I've whoop. gutted it out only because I wanted that orange for something else. Um, but uh, I'm going to attach that on because I think that sets it apart. Again, you could be adding acetate onto the back of that, then you foam on a roll, popping your uh, sequins into there yeah. and making it into a shaker, shaker, shaker card. Shaker, shaker. Shaker, shaker, shake, 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 shake. How big is the square, Jeanette's asking? Six and a half by six and a half, because I'm going to put okay. it onto a big card base. So you can, and I did do it with another one, I did it at six by six, mm. and it still worked really good um, at, that, uh, at that point. Um, and Joyce, I hope I say your surname right, Joyce. Apologies if not. Joyce Caracciolo says, love the idea of doing cut out all around. It's a really cool idea, isn't it? Something that, again, a bit different. And, I sh and it shows you the versatility of this set, all the different ways you can use. Um, funny things people have had, <laughs> funny places <laughs> people have this. found. I can't wait for this. <laughs> and I found a piece of red liner tape in the dog's water dish once. <laughs> and I've no idea how that happened. And Jedi says... I went to work with a large piece of red liner tape on my face. And oh, you, no! And you would have thought I did not have a shower. Uh, that thing is a bug, uh, <laughs> says Shadaya. <laughs> that's so fun. That's like when you've ever gone to work and you've um, like brushed your teeth before you got in and you've got like loads of like, like um, toothpaste around your mouth. And yeah. You, I've, I, yeah. Did it all the time. <laughs> Um, and quick question whilst you're sticking from Stephanie. Yes. Um, she says, I finished the birthday cards for the twin grandsons. I've Aww. used some embossing folders with gilding wax. I've cut the sentiment out of cardstock, but what is best to adhere together? Tacky glue? Repeat that, repeat that for me again, please, Ben. Uh, she's cut a sentiment out of cardstock. Out of cardstock, yeah. Yeah, after using embossing folders with gilding wax. But what's the best way to stick those together? Um... You've got choice, haven't you? Yeah, you've got your choices. So, 3D cloud glue. Yeah. Um, hot glue gun. Mm -hmm. That'd be a good one. Oh, yeah. That'll stick straight away. Mm. Um, yeah. I think you could basically... Because, obviously, is it a gilding flake, did you say? Gilding wax. Gilding wax. Mm. You could still use things like your all purpose and your tacky. Yeah. Um, but if you're not having success with that, try the hot glue, hot glue. or the 3D cloud glue. Okay. Of course, 3D cloud glue, you need to let it set. Yes. So. yes. Now, I wanted, because obviously in the middle of my card, it's, um, 
you can see the square it's a naturally formed a square mm. um, so I've just added and I used the um, other side of the card you know the paper that I use from the 12 by 12 pad so my uh, little centre works out at three and a quarter by three and a quarter yeah on this particular size at six and a half and six and a half when I did the six by six I cut it down to three by three so that it fitted into that centre um, but yeah it's just to give it a little lift and somewhere for it to um, for my sentiments to sit into there so I'm just going to attach that just down there we go uh, and then I've got my so again I've just already die cut all these pieces you don't want to see me running these through again but I've used the U I've got the um, florals and the foliage you've got little central pieces for your flowers as well um, on these pieces however I use gems I'm not gonna lie mm. so I'm gonna stick me U down into that center part so let's get that stuck down with a little bit of um, tacky glue again yeah um oops nearly there we go and then i'm going to attach the rest so i'm going to just come in and put that in the center part okay that lovely this down. and then i've got my um from the bottom of my heart so i'm going to pop that just underneath like so mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you've got foam pads on there, Debbie, already. Let's take that off. And it's coming just underneath there, so it's just floating. Now, my card base is actually quite a large one, and I, I think I did that, yeah, I did, eight by eight. Um, I did tell you I always make my own, and that's exactly what I've done with this. Yeah. First piece, eight by eight inches. Second piece, nine by eight. Uh, and then a score line at one inch. I actually think I went at three quarters there though, so, because, um, yeah, I think I did a three quarter one. And then I did gut out, because I thought there's no point wasting that, and it came in handy for this piece as well. Um, but I just gutted that out using our paper trimmer, yep. because obviously that central part's gonna get covered up. And I do like to extract those centers rather than leaving them in, although it has been a little bit of a Debbie week of leaving them in the center. Don't know what you mean. I know. And do you know what? I still, I still cannot remember the name of that program. I need to find it out because it's going to irritate me. Right, what's it about? I, I've told you, see. Oh, and what's it on? UK drama, it's called. UK, yeah, UK drama. Um, yeah, UK drama. I think that's the channel. It's on me. Oh. Des. Called what? Des. No, that's good. That's the... got. That's got my favourite actor in that. Who? David Tennant. Oh. Yeah, it's a David Tennant one. That. The Killing. No. no. Oh no, no, no. Risdington Place. No, no. Four Lives. No. The Pembrokeshire Murders. No. Inside Man. No. The Long Shadow. No. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> uh... Somebody else said that they so they, they watched it themselves as well. Is UK <laughs> Drama the name of the channel? Yeah, I'm sure it's UK Drama, or is it UK Gold? Oh, is or it is like it an drama? old show? Is it what? Eh? Is it an old show? No, it's not it? that old. It's had two seasons. The Tunnel. No. Manhunt. No. The Lock. No. No offence. No. The Serpent. <laughs> no. Um... I'm so sorry, Ben. I will find it out. Do you know? Make make sure that I um Wichable Pearl. No. Home Fires. No. Lucan. No. Um New Tricks. No. Uh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I will find it out because it's it, i told you it's gonna irritate me. Uh, now I'm just gonna add my embellishments into the corners. It's such a good one though. Who's in it? Anyone famous? No, no, that's the thing. There's mm. nobody in there that's like a name name. Do you know that I recognised anyway? Um, absolutely fabulous. It's Ameri I think it's American, yeah. Definitely American. It's a really good one mm. as well. The following. No, the mm. following's amazing. Is, is that Kevin? I was absolutely gutted. Kevin Bacon did yeah. the following. I was absolutely gutted that they ended it the way they did. Deadly Games. No. American Crime Story. No. <laughs> Definitely not. No. Oh, I give up. I'm I give up. It's, do you ever have that pro problem, Ben, when All you watch something time. and you just can't remember the name of it? And I, I mean, it was absolutely fabulous. I loved it mm. and binge watched it. I love doing that, though. Me and Nicola were talking about this yesterday. Don't know if anybody's the same, but I like to. Um, I 
I can't wait week by week. So you wait till a series I has been on? I wait till it's finished or I see if it's been already uploaded for the uh, whole series yeah. and I watch it in one fail swoop because mm. I like to binge watch dramas and thrillers and things like that. I'm very impatient. I don't want to wait no, I week by mean. week. Uh, oh. Beautiful, this. You see, and just honestly, when I say that it comes under that creator card range, I've shown you three very different styles. We've got one more to show you. I did have two, but we'll probably only get to the one. Uh, but um, absolutely I love these. They are really good fun to work with. And I've shown three different styles of cards that you can use up to now, which is why we put it under that creator card. Um, and I'm so pleased you're loving it just as much as we are because they're absolutely fabulous. And they're a statement piece. They're not a little die or a little stamp. There's a, the, the, well, the sentiment stamp is, but the, the rest of it is quite a nice size, considerable size. And the multiple ways that you can use it as well, I just think is Absolutely right up my street as it is for all of you as well because I like something that offers me as that creativeness creator new word um, I want it to do more than one thing and that's exactly what this set does how many shows do you know Ben says Suzanne I was reading it off Google that wasn't all from <laughs> my head uh, Zoe Carver says sister Boniface no I know you're trying I know you're trying. Come on, somebody knows. Somebody knows. Um, Miss Scarlet and the Duke. No. That's from Sandra. No. It's a serial killer. Hmm. That sounds awful, but that's that's the British. And hmm. it's actually a couple. It's, it's actually a lady that's the killer. Right. And she gets her boyfriend. Bonnie and, and Clyde. He, no, she incorporates them into her web of killing. Deceit, yeah. And then there's a. Uh, two detectives, a yeah. woman and a man, that try and track her down. Um, he's Collateral. A little, he's a little bit aloof. No, he's a little bit aloof. Right. Um, and uh, but it's a really good, honestly. Oh, I am going to find it out if it's the last thing I do. Well, we'll at least have a break, I think, in a minute, don't we? Because <laughs> I'm going to keep Googling all these shows. Um, Showstopper, go for it. Uh, collection on its own, go for it. Uh, but whatever you do, don't leave this behind. Even if you just pick up one or two of these, I think you'll thank yourself later on um, because, as you've seen, they are so super versatile. Not creator cards as you know them because you've got lots of um, dies and stamps within the set here, but you can see how we're sort of lightening these two um, creator card dies. And you've seen so many different ways that you can use them with Debbie over the course of the last hour and a half. I cannot believe that uh, time is almost up. We'll squeeze in one more demo um, after a short break. But listen, you've seen the versatility of these. If you love a set, which is gonna take you through, you know, cards for all sorts of different projects, for all sorts of different people, right throughout the seasons as well, hence the seasonal name, then this is gonna be right up your street. And the great thing about this as well is it's quick and easy again, isn't it? If you just wanna make a quick, simple, easy mat and lead, um, card you can make it look sensational with a set like this the showstopper brings you all of those other additional elements as well don't forget uh, when it comes to the card stock that you're going to be getting you've got the uh, precious metals glitter card mirror card matte mirror card adhesive glitter card you've got the 25 sheets of your fabulous fuchsia in there sequins 12 sheets of heat resistant acetate foam pads you've got your um, glitter glue in there two of your duet ink pads as well it's a sensational bundle, but it's over to you. Showstopper, do it. Collection on its own, do it. Individuals, do it. Um, but shop now. We're gonna give you opportunity to check out. Keep the comments coming in. Uh, someone in the next 15 minutes is gonna win themselves that mystery bag. Um, it might be you. Any final questions you wanna fire at Debbie, do that as well, and we'll come back with what will be, I think, probably the final demo in around about three or four minutes time. Dad was a printer, which was the old, you know, the old letter set printer, the, the, the type, the old printer's type. So he used to bring home off cuts of card. And so I always had paper and card around me from as long as I can remember. He would donate bits of off cuts to the school I went to. And so it was always accessible. Um, my mum and dad bought me colouring products, art products, and you know, good quality art products, like adult quality art products. So I found I could draw from a really early age. So really between that and crafting, it's just been punctuating it all through my life. I think you can get inspiration from anywhere. Um, it's hard, there's never one source. 
it's from anywhere. It's from, it could be a crafting person, it could be a non-crafting person. It inspires me in different aspects. You know, it could be um, art, art, inspiration from artists, inspiration from crafters, or inspiration on just inspiring people. It's all about the viewers. If it wasn't for the viewers, then there is no purpose in what? Oh yeah, what am I doing it for? It's not about me, what I can do, it's about what I can inspire the viewers to do. And if I'm not inspiring them, then I'm not doing my job. So it's all about the viewers and it's all and keeping them um, interested, um, uh, fired up to give things new things a try. And mostly any blocks, anything that holds someone back is more confidence than ability. That's what I found. So if I can inspire people and give them that little bit of confidence to give them the nudge, fantastic. I think the biggest achievement is keep doing what I'm doing for so long. Now, I remember, you know, when I first started, um, you know, when everything's new, um, it, can, it can just, you know, maybe the, um, the enthusiasm and the love for what you do might, might wane. But it hasn't, you know, here I am, as I said, 18 years further down the line, professionally crafting. And I think that's my greatest achievement is that I'm still loving it, doing it, enjoying it. And the feedback's been incredible from, you know, from the crafters and that's what I'm doing it for. So that I think is my greatest achievement and the feedback I'm still getting. Not many people know this, but I'm gonna share this now. Is when I lived in America and I was 19, my eyelashes turned white. So this is still, my hair colour. Oh, I'm getting on a bit now, but it's just a natural hair colour, dark hair colour, white eyelashes. I look like, um, you know, the John Wind Wyndham, um, you know, the, the Midwich Cuckoos. I look like one of those little alien people with me if I don't wear mascara. Underneath this, lily white eyelashes, go figure. I did worry for a while I was going to turn white, you know, front emanate now from my eyes, which would have looked very strange to try and disguise for a bit. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome back, everybody. What a show it's been. Thank you so much to everybody who has uh, jumped in and grabbed the collection. Uh, remember, I would say probably in the next... 10, 15 minutes or so, we will announce who has won the mystery bag. What's in the bag? It's a mystery. mystery. Oh, it's, it's a, a mystery. mystery. Um, so, yeah, someone will win that. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas has gone, that's why we needed the prop bag. I agree. Right, um, loving the die set. So versatile, says Sharon Tidmus. I concur. Uh, Jessica Stricker says, Buddy has settled in for a nap at my feet as usual, and I love these large word dies. They're amazing. Uh, Tammy Barnhouse says, We are having so much fun today, Ben and Debbie. You are a blast. Thank Aww. you. And oh, Hannah has messaged, Hannah Gosling Smith, is the show we hunt together. <gasps> Anna, I love you. Anna, <sighs> thank you so much. That is exactly the right programme. We hunt together. Thank you. How I feel. Do you know when you have like a weight lifted off your shoulders? Because it was bothering me that I couldn't remember. And that's exactly the programme. Two seasons, utter fabulousness. I highly recommend it. Hannah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three days of this conversation yeah, without. It's taken <laughs> three days to figure it out. Oh, can I also say, if you want a good show and it'll be on five, I'm watching it currently. It's only halfway through two out of four, the new one on channel five. I don't know if it's on tonight, but it was on last night and Monday night, Coma. It's got Jason Watkins in it, the guy out of Nativity. 
and it's also got the the guy who plays the caretaker in the Harry Potter movies, the gu the guy with the cat. Has oh, he got a cat? yes. What did you say he was called, Nicola? David Bradley. How's he called? David Bradley. I think it's David Bradley. I don't know. You, you could have said anything there, Liam. You could have gone John Smith. It's that guy, anyway. It's the guy, the scary caretaker guy of Harry Potter. It's very, very good. Anyway. We hunt together. We hunt together. Thank you so much. Um, right, we are going to do one final demo. Oh, yes. With Debbie. Yes. We've got uh, 20 minutes left. What can you concoct for us? We're going to make a box. Of course. Um, of course. It's a bit similar to the style that we've um, done, but mine's just different colours. And I've used Happy Birthday because that's the one I haven't used so far. Um, I think the Many Congrats is the last one that I didn't get to. Um, however, again, you see all your dies on there. You've got your stamp set. Hope it's the best yet. If you want to use that, if you don't want to use that, that's absolutely fine. Now, I've done a box. This measures in at nine inches by nine inches. And I've scored it at two inches all the way around on all four sides um, and I've used central repel but from the A3 because as we all know A4 doesn't quite stretch to the nine you can get it in one way but not the other so that's why I've used an A3 piece of cardstock I've put the score lines in but I haven't reinforced them just yet because I am going to create that lovely little feature mm -hmm. where we're going to put these and cut into the cardstock all the way around so in each one of these now and this measures at five this box will actually measure at five by five when finished um so i'm going to come down and pop my tape into place and then we're going to run that through the die cutting machine i'm going to use my large plates again and i'll try it again without the magnetic shim let's go yeah let's do it without the magnetic shim and then run that through and i'm just going to pop that in get do not <laughs> oh, dear me. I know. All my beautiful makes. Never mind. to one side. How was going to say, it's Wednesday. Today. I was going to say, it's late in the day, but it's yeah. not. <laughs> well, it, no, I was going to say, it, is it isn't, is it at all? No, it's not at all. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just going to double check. Yeah, it is my Friday. Um, I'm going to give that one more cut, but I'm not going to add the magnetic shim. I am using Centura Pearl, so I want to be a little careful when I'm doing this. So I'm just going to run it through again. Do you know what I am going to do? Let me just make sure. There we go. I'm going to push that in properly because we all know that a nine by nine on your plate is the mouth of the machine but i just yeah. want to make sure i've got it pushed in properly so it doesn't overhang at the other side uh -huh. um, and then we're going to cut that on all four sides i'll probably do a couple depends on the time yeah see how about the time okay yeah you okay over there alison gibson has just messaged yes so i've learned not to bake whilst watching oh dear i've just spent the last 30 minutes cleaning banana cake mix off my kitchen floor, walls and windows. I was oh, so busy no. watching the show, I didn't notice my mixer throwing the mix around the room. <laughs> Alison, oh. <laughs> that's hilarious, but not hilarious if you catch my drift. Oh, no. I, <laughs> I feel your pain. I, um, <laughs> You've heard I of Bananarama? That's I, a banana drama. <laughs> I had a similar thing with my soup maker and I blame my daughter because she'd used it last and do you know the little top that goes at the top of your soup yeah. maker, the top? Oh yeah. She hadn't screwed it down, oh, no. but I thought she had. Oh no. So I didn't check and I put it on and I left it and I heard it whirring and you know you just leave it 30 minutes it takes to do your soup. I was sat in there watching catching up on my soaps. I went into the kitchen when I heard it doing its final whirring sound. Mm. And because it was a, a green concoction, it was a cauliflower and leek and uh, broccoli, cheesy one, it were all over the cupboard oh, walls, all over the no. blinds. As it had literally spat out because the top wasn't down, so it had spat out everywhere. So I completely feel your pain, Alison. It's not a nice feeling, especially the clean-up. Do you know, the only, I've never had ha that happen to me, but one time we had this um, blender. And you know, you get the little... Um, little stirrers in there and you get the little different tops and you can kind of you can store them inside the blender can't you yep when you sort of stored it away um, and Daisy decided she wanted to do some um, some baking but I'd said to her 
um, before you um, turn it on, make sure you take all of the bits and pieces out of the, the blender. And of course, she didn't listen to what I said, <laughs> plugged it in and whoever had used it last had left it on. My goodness me, I have never seen all the bits and pieces of a blender get obliterated. There was plastic and all sorts just flying all over the kitchen. And a new blender later, um, <laughs> we were all fine. Um, Alison just says, uh, thank you. I think I've got most of it, but the kitchen now smells of bananas. Um, there could be worse smells. It could be, there could be worse smells, believe you me. Yeah. Um, a Stilton soup <laughs> didn't smell very nice, is all I'm going to tell you. Um, especially on my poor little blinds. Oh, oh never. Oh. Never. I managed to get most of it off. Jamie's asking me if I got new blinds. Uh, I managed to get most of it off. There is the uh, odd, odd, odd stain, shall we say? But yes, uh, it wasn't. It wasn't the best. It wasn't the best. But yeah, it to I totally get that. It can happen when we get distracted. We easily get distracted, <laughs> don't we? Oh yeah, don't we? Yeah. Oh, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> How many was that? It was definitely one four this time. Isn't that funny that I didn't? Uh, that, that's so strange. Oh yeah, strange. forty and fourteen. That last twenty-six minutes has gone quickly. Yeah, that's that's uncanny. Mm. Right, I'm being careful with my A because I did it earlier and I'm not going to do it again. I just want to make sure I got that out because it's. Um, can you see it's only held on there? You've got to be a bit careful. So just be careful when you're doing that, Britt. Honestly, it's worth it's worth taking your time. Don't don't do a rush job. Mm. Sometimes I I'm in such a um, such a rush to get things out that I uh, I forget. Yeah. Some of these dyes are a delicate nature, and we need to look after them. We do. Have I got time to cut some more? Um, I don't know, you've got... Yeah. I think we're okay. 13 minutes. I think I can, yeah, got plenty of time, plenty of time. So, it's pretty similar to what I've just done with that previous card, but it's on a box lid bit, it's on a box, box lid now. Um, and again, just showing you the versatility of these dies, not necessarily thinking that it's, you know, um, just the cards. Yeah. Think about your gift bags. I mean, you've seen this gift bag, haven't you? I'm just going to just bring it back into shot. Oh, yes. <laughs> Very it nice. is gorgeous, Marie. Gorgeous. It's bright. It's oh, it's just beautiful. And that paper piecing element. So Marie's actually paper pieced rather than what I've done, which is cheat and put it underneath. She's popped it in, and you can feel the difference. It gives it that raised feel. Can you feel? Gives you that raised feature. Mm. I absolutely love that one. Stunning. Stunning. <laughs> I'm just relieved Anna Gosling Smith was watching and knew what oh, I was I know. talking about. I think it was my descriptive description. Description. I think that's what it was when I talked about it in a bit more detail rather than just saying one thing. But yeah, thank you for that. I'm not Anna. even go after googling all of those shows which we thought it might be. I've not even googled the one you said. What's it called? We all we hunt, stand we, together. No, we hunt together. Oh. Not going to forget that now. I am not going to forget that in a hurry. Oh, we all stand together. That was the frog chorus. We were singing that yesterday, we all, weren't we? We were singing that yesterday, yeah. Isn't that funny? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Freddie and Baba. Freddie and Whatty. That's what they're, they're called. Freddie and Baba. That's it. Form a bond after an unfortunate incident. They yes. go on a killing spree, forcing detectives Lola and Jackson to reunite and investigate the murders. It was really good. It's really, really good. Mm. I love anything that grabs me attention. And in literally in five minutes into that programme, I'm like, yep, I'm continuing to watch this. Mm. Well, there you You've go, got to have everybody. something that does. I, but I do love, I do love a binge watch. Is anybody else the same? Do you do the same? Um, uh... So do you know, so for example, Line of Duty. Never seen it. So, I was the same. Never seen it. Nah, I'm not bothered. Never seen it. Got to final season and everybody were talking about this H and whatever and I'm like, mm, not really interested. And then someone said to me, you really do need to watch it. Well, I watched. <laughs> literally, first ten minutes of the first, first season. And so I've done ten, ten, literally nine, ten years in the space of a couple of weeks and watched and binge watched it all. Yeah. The same with The Handmaid's Tale. Oh, Laura watched that. So, you see, I didn't think it oh. was my cup of tea and I kept no. saying, there's no way I'm watching that, it's not my cup of tea. 
oh my life my daughter said to me at christmas last year just watch one and if you don't like the one i'll shut up talking about it because she'd been trying to get me to watch it for absolutely ages mm. um and i watched the first and again i binged watched the entire seasons and How less seasons than a week that? There were tons well of them i'm there. waiting for the new one to drop now and oh. i think there's about I want to say there's quite a few of those as well. Seven, eight, maybe possibly more. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. And I can't believe I'd poo pooed the idea um, and said I didn't want to watch it because I absolutely blooming love it. Right. Now I'm going to reinforce my score lines back into okay. my box. So. Um, what, and, sorry, what plate configuration did you use for the Centura Pearl, says Pat? I've just used, again, I don't know if you noticed all the way around, I just used the cutting plates the plastic shim and the other cutting plate i didn't add the magnetic in and the reason i didn't add the magnetic in is because uh, the indentations would have been coming through um of there now you could put your magnetic sheet in but what you would need to do is put a piece of copier paper over the top and then your words will drop out but you can see it's cut through absolutely fine um and then all you're going to do is like burnish all of those cut out what you would normally do on your um boxes like so so that i've got now this piece now i will tell you when you get to this stage mm -hmm. and if you think about where you're folding it you have to think about your panels now i because I've got the word cut out, I wanted to add, and this is why I've cut using my cardstock, and I've used the Botanic Garden. I think I've mentioned this a few times now. It's one of my favourite pads. Um, and I'm going to use to create a bit of colour behind the back. But I'm going to use the dark side. So I'm going to come in. Okay. So, yeah, that's the combination that I used yes. for... Um, and I've used it for the majority of all my demos that I've done. Yeah. With the exception for the first one, just because I needed to add that extra um, shimmer back in there. But, yeah, it's, um, it's worth... It's worth the longevity of your plates um, and also your cardstock. Just trying to make sure I've got that right. And I've just cut these down to um, an inch, so four and a half by one and three quarter. And I think I'm going to have the dark sitting on the back of them. And I'm just going to push that back into place because Debbie, being Debbie, heavy oh, handed. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see I've that. done it now. again, but yeah. there you go. I fixed it. Yeah. And that's all I'm going to do around all four sides. So again, and that's it, you know, you've got to be think about these delicate pieces. Just make sure you're not heavy handed. Mm. We've got the winner for our mystery bag. Oh, have we? So if you've commented on the show, then uh, stay tuned as it could be you. And as we've said, the rule is if you do win a mystery bag, make sure you message us or tag us when you receive it so we actually know what you've won because we genuinely no, we do don't. not know what's in the <laughs> no mystery idea. bag. Absolutely no idea. Mm. <laughs> it's just all a bit like, what's that, what was it called? FOMO, isn't it? Fear of missing out. Yeah. yeah. We kind of, just, we kind of want to, we're not, we want to know. We're always in control here, but we're not in control of this. Uh, we, we need to know what you win. So uh, if I call your name out in about two or three minutes' time... Promise. That, that's the deal. <laughs> um, and lots still to come today as well. Don't forget, we've got a craft along coming up live at 5. That is 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, midday Central. And it's a one hour, isn't it? Yep. Just the, just the hour today. I am aware um, it's only one hour, yes. I am. It, yep, yep. It Jamie is the Confetti Cut and Dies collection. Um, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, so you can pick up that collection. There's individuals available as well. Uh, plus a fantastic deal. If you love our luxury card stock, you know the one where you get like uh, the 30 sheets, then we've got a fantastic star buy on the show for you as well. You can um, check out everything on that show and buy it ahead of the show. And the Craft Along is coming up with Debbie in two hours, seven minutes time. Absolutely, looking forward to it. Again, yeah. I've cut all my words out so that you don't have to watch me doing all that again. Um, I am going to pop in the bottom. I like to, I like me inside of my boxes. I know you don't have to, but I think sometimes it's nice to have um, like your matching cardstock so it's not completely stark um, and just sitting into the base of that box with that cardstock. This is the Botanic Garden and also the Pearl Rainbow one as well. Um, now, before I stick this down, I've got all my little embellishments. I'm going to pop all of those on. Mm -hmm. um, let me bring back in my tacky glue. Um, 
I've got my wording that's going to sit across there. So yep. I'm going to come in first with the wording. How are we doing for time, Jamie? Oh, there it is. Probably you haven't got five and a half minutes really because I've got to do the, the winner and I've got to like do like a little wrap up and stuff, you know. Oh, so more right, like okay, about okay, okay. one minute, Debbie, one minute. Not like being a diva. Not like being, being a, a diva. diva. Not like being a diva, Ben. I'm just doing my job, ma'am. <laughs> just doing my job. <laughs> Um, oh dear. Thank you, Kathy Myers. He says, time flies when you're having so much fun. Uh, it does time. Time flies when you're having fun. Uh, and Charlene Matthew says, I love Crafters Companion products and I started crafting because of your shows. Oh, thank you, Charlene. Aww. That's lovely to hear. Yeah. Lovely. That is lovely. Thank you. I think I'll add a couple of little florals down here. Do you know what you could have done? Could have done a happy, then put the birthday there. The happy again and the birthday there if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of different ways that you can use it. Um, again, I'm just alternating between the two. And all of these sentiments that I've got are from the set, so mm. I'm not having to look for anything. It's all within the set. Just seen a little one there, not stuck down. Let's pop a little bit of glue. There we go. And then just finish that off and do exactly the same. And then... In the, oh, well, I'll show you in a second because I, um, I've done one of these before for some social filming, mm. uh, but um, I added the tag with it. Do you know the recent tags that we've had out? Oh yeah, I remember. Uh, that. Because uh -huh. yeah, that, the everyday tag dies. That's the ones. Mm. Yeah, love those. They're brilliant, love, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely fabulous. So I'm just going to construct my box now. And because I've put that paper there, I and I'm not... I mean, obviously, you've got these little panels here. I could have done that afterwards, but to be fair, I, no one's going to look that far underneath. No. I, I, don't think, I, don't, I don't think so, anyway. <laughs> and if they do... Well, if they do, tough. What um, is wrong with just, you? Um, <laughs> just add another little panel in there. But it saved me having to paper piece... Um, that was just Debbie's way of being a little bit on the lazy side, so mm. she didn't have to do any paper piecing. I mean, I do love the technique paper piecing, but I get very, very frustrated with paper piecing. Oh, dear. Oh, I do, yeah. Depends how big the pieces of paper are that you're piecing, it's, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know how Craig loves paper piecing, but mm. it's, um, it's not a Debbie thing. No. If I can avoid it, I'll avoid it. So, again, I'm just going to... I think I put too much glue on there. There we go. Let me get rid of that. And then, again... This was the same piece of cardstock, but just done on the base side for the box. Mm -hmm. Let's just get that into there. And then that will fit now my, or house my, um, if it fits perfectly. Let me make sure I've got that right, the right fit. There we go. Love that. And just get that in. And then last, like I said, I've added a tag to that from my everyday tags, but the balloon waste I've used to add a little bit of detail onto the front of my box. So I've got um, one there, one at the top, and then just on there as well. There you go. So you can create it for your boxes as well as your uh, cards. Um, a really useful set of dies that cross all of those seasons, all of those occasions. I'm hoping I've given you some inspiration yet again. Sorry I couldn't get the five in, but I think we've done quite a fair few there with the four that I did. Um, and enjoy them when you get them as well. Yeah, absolutely. And as we always say, when you do get the collection, whether it's the showstopper, the collection, or maybe you've just picked up uh, one or two, uh, do tag us in your makes because we always love to see what you've been up to. I've loved your show today, says Ginger Bailey. Same as always. Well, thank you. And thank you for all the lovely comments. There's been so many comments actually again today. Um, I wonder why that might be. Yes, it <laughs> is because we're asking you to comment so you can win a mystery bag. The winner of the mystery bag. Don't ask me what's in it because we don't know. Uh, the winner is Sharon Tidmus. Uh, congratulations, Sharon. You have won a mystery bag. Do let us know what you receive when you do receive it. To receive it, you will need to message us. Uh, CTV prizes at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Send us a little message. Uh, tell us that you've won the mystery bag and we will get that sent out to you ASAP. What a fantastic show. Um, we've got Craft Along coming up in two hours' time. I wonder what we're making. Well, I'm going to give you a little sneaky peek. We're going to use the confetti cutting dies, and this is what we're going to create in our hour-long Craft Along, and I promise you, we'll get that done.
In an hour? In an hour. Just an hour, not two? No, just the hour. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. definitely. 100%. 100 million percent. Uh, yeah, so join us if you've already got the collection. Uh, of course, you can get out and craft along with us. All of the uh, details you need as far as the craft along are concerned are up for you. And if you haven't yet got that collection, do come and watch because we might just tempt you to jump in and grab it. And of course, you can go away with that craft along to try out once you receive it. Massive thank you to Debbie. What a great show. Do continue to check out and shop after the show. Uh, check out all of the deals that we have got on the website and we'll see you back here live at five. Bye for now. <laughs>